to my safe space. Today, I'm going to be spilling some tea. Not this tea, tea as in a recent event that's happened in my life. All you need right now in this cold weather is a hot drink. It's like an internal hug. I need a hug physically and I need a hug internally, so this does me internally. Right, anyway, I just have to adjust my beanie. My hair is a mess. My hair's always going to be a mess up until the hairdresser's open, whenever that'll be, so. Yeah, on the 28th of January 2021, I got made redundant from one of my jobs. That job was my retail job, my sales assistant job at Paper Chase. If I had a pound for every time I told someone that I worked for Paper Chase, for them to respond, oh my God, I love Paper Chase, oh my God, I love Paper Chase, oh my God, I love it, I love it, I love it, I would be a millionaire. It certainly was, is still, because it's still up and it's still going. It's very well known and it's well loved for all you stationary lovers out there. I got my job at Paper Chase in my second year of uni back in April 2018. It was in the Manchester flagship store. I've definitely grown as a person from my experiences working at Paper Chase. It's taught me a lot about life. I have met so many amazing people, made so many amazing friends. I've met people from all over the world, so many international customers, it was very popular with tourists, I've learned so many languages, learning how to say please and thank you in languages such as Slovak and Bulgarian and all different types of languages, it's just been a fantastic experience. Another thing that I will always respect about my job and working at Paper Chase was the acceptance and love Everyone loved me, everyone loved my eccentric self, everyone loved my dress sense, my style, and they all supported me. We were all like a family at Paper Chase, and that's what I loved about it. I could go into work and just get on with everyone. Everyone really supported my career path. Whilst I was working at Paper Chase, I was going through my second year and third year of uni, and it was a very stressful time for me, and they were really good with my shifts. They were really good with me, always checking up on my mental and physical well-being. They were fantastic. Then when I graduated, I looked at it differently because I was there pretty much full time doing lots of overtime, just waiting for my next adventure. And then this was from August 2019 up until March 2020. Then we went into lockdown. I had so much time off work. Then I was back again in October. Then we're off again in November. Then we're back again in December. So I had a lot of time off in 2020. The CEO, the top administrators, whatever they are, I'm past curving right now, invited us for a video call on the 28th of January. I was working at my job at Koi, but I couldn't attend. I just said to my staff members, just tell me what it's about. Halfway through my shift at Koi, I went to open my WhatsApp chats. I had over 700 unread messages from the work group. And then I just went to check my emails and it said um, something like, I'm really sorry you're being made redundant from today your job is no longer required, your store is closing down and because of the financial loss of the company going in and out of lockdown we're unable to pay holidays, notice pay, redundancy pay so we've had to apply for that through the government website. I've just filled in the redundancy claim. This has been fun. Not. Hopefully I will get something. Well I'm entitled to it, I should get something. It's just, just such a weird time but on Thursday the 28th, we got made redundant. Then on Monday, the following Monday, I get an email at 4.33 p.m. from the administrator saying, um, or oh, to collect your things from the store, you must come in tomorrow between 10 and 10.30 a.m. Bearing in mind I got this email at 4.33 p.m. and I thought the the disrespect and the lack of compassion and empathy from these people. Bearing in mind we've just been made redundant. Some of us live like an hour away. Me, some of my colleagues have kids. It was just really inconsiderate for them to suddenly click the things and be like, right, you've got to come in tomorrow. When we got there, one of the guys said to us, oh, you know, you can come in all week. You can stay till about one o'clock. So we were there like, oh my God, what is this miscommunication? It's the last thing we need right now. We're going through a stressful time. This is horrible to walk in. Hi, you all right? I am in such a mood. I'm so miserable, this weather. Ugh. My 
so much, see you later. It's such a miserable day for a miserable time. I am going into Paper Chase where I've just been made redundant and we're handing in our stuff today and saying our goodbyes. It's going to be very emotional. Here we are. Sad times. Oh look, I've been on this peach for God knows how long. I'm leaving it on the peach. <laughs> oh, oh look, I'm here again. This was when I got, um, when I worked here for the first month, I got employee of the month and I submitted my own photo. I can't even take it off. So yeah, I'm leaving me on here too. So this is the last time we're going to be in this staff room. I'm going to miss standing next to this radiator every lunch when I'm free move. <laughs> Storms don't last forever. Storms don't last forever, do they? Oh yeah, Polska, cruel over. Oh, I'm going to miss you so much. Miss you too already. <laughs> so if it's a video. <laughs> oh, I'm going to miss oh, you. Oh, look at you. <laughs> bye bye, staff room. Bye. You'll be missed. Bye, staff room. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Trap me behind the door, why don't you, John? Oh. Even this mirror's got sentimental value. Oh, <laughs> the iconic mirror. Oh, Bye, stock room. Oh, Goodbye, stock oh, room. Go on, do your best strut down the stairs. This is going to be the final time we're going to be walking down the stairs. <laughs> you need an empty runway. <laughs> bye bye, shop. Yay! <laughs> Come on, walk down. How much are you going to miss me? A lot. I know I will always be your favourite. I will always be the favourite. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sad times. Goodbye. <laughs> bye bye, paper chase. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Make some noise. Bye, paper chase. We are family. <laughs> Off to get a coffee. <laughs> Even the plants, family. <laughs> it feels so deserted. I'm just finishing off my coffee now. I need to go to the toilet in the Armdale. It's been really wholesome to say bye to some of my team members today. You know, we can't control the situation. It's not our fault that we've been made redundant. I'm glad and I don't regret going in um, that day after, even though it was such short, even though it was such short notice because a big group of my amazing colleagues were there. I got to say my goodbyes. I got to say my goodbyes to the building because I have a lot of attachment to that building all of those memories I always need closure I need to say a proper goodbye to certain people to certain environments that's just the way I am in my brain that's just the way I work that's me as a person we're all gonna keep in contact you know I love my paper chase family they'll always be my family eventually I was going to leave paper chase and I know being a retail job I always complain like oh there's better things I could be doing. Why am I here? When am I going to get a new job? Uh, you know, all of that. I wanted to leave on my own terms, knowing that I could go back and say hello and visit my colleagues. And obviously I can't do that. The ending is just abrupt, which makes it quite emotional. But, you know, I'm so glad I've got my two other creative jobs. So I've got my presenting job at Koi and I've got my social media job at Shikenya. One door closes and my paper chase door was going to close anyway at some point for another door to open or another 10 doors to open. I am going to miss paper chase. I'm going to miss the people there, but it's time to move on and time to move forward, cherish the memories and keep them with me forever. That's the tea with what's happened. Thank you so much for listening to me discuss the tea, or should I say, spill the tea. 
thank you so much so yeah i hope you enjoyed watching and listening to me talk about my new life experience sorry I've just got a notification go away i uh, about my new life experience hope you all take care hope you all stay safe in these times and don't forget to like comment subscribe whatever you say at the end of a youtube video you know yeah but yeah don't forget to stay safe and drink plenty of hot drinks Thank you.